Welcome, this is a basic video on how to use Slack. Uh, Slack is a new chat client. It's a very new take on an old idea. It was, uh, it's basically a very heavily modified IRC or internet relay chat. So if you're familiar with this stuff in the 80s, then you would have uh, signed into a particular server which had different channels or rooms, as you might know them. And logged in, you would just see a single chat window where you could talk to everybody. Over here on the right would be everyone signed in. Uh, so, as you can see, there's not much to it. It's definitely dated, but it's very simple and sturdy. So that's why Slack is probably a great idea. Uh, let's go ahead and log into it. Uh, if I go to my organization's Slack URL, it's going to be their name, .slack.com. Okay, I'm already signed in here. Um, but what I got here is on the left hand side, my navigation bar, I can see I have channels, direct messages, and private groups. Um, so to start, channels are just where you want to delineate the types of conversation you ha conversations you have. In this case, we have several different events. We have a general channel just for any sort of discussion, uh, a meta channel to discuss Slack itself, and just uh, stuff for the website, stuff for meetings, and basically this is a way to categorize conversations. Now what separates this from email is every time a new message is posted, even if I have all notif notifications turned on, it's not like I get a whole email notification every time. It's basically just sort of like this will go bold and appear, you know, depending on what client you're using, it may appear at the top. Um, like on the mobile client, for instance, I think the channels get moved to the top as far as they have new updates. Uh, you select that channel. When you go in, you'll see a red line that says new messages somewhere here. And until you scroll down, it'll basically stay bold uh, until you've viewed all the new stuff. And you just get it all in this nice single view. You don't have a, a bunch of different clicks to go through. You don't have a big, you know, it's not like going through 35 letters. It's like opening one letter with 35 messages written on one page. Um, However, what also separates this from the old IRC is how pretty it is. You can see we all have pictures. Um, we can also upload files. For instance, if I were to go to my Gmail account and go to Drive, uh, this will actually connect with Drive. And what it'll do is link directly to the file. It still will be stored on Google Drive. However, people will see a link directly to it in here. So let's go ahead and go to Drive and we'll share out a file just as an example. So let's go to the Earth Day Flyer. Now I've got this here. Everybody on the Slack already has access to it. So I will, let's say directly to Andy. Actually, no, that's a, that's a bad example. So let's go here. If I post this link here, I'm going to get a nice uh, URL here after a moment. It's going to basically clean it up, tell me it's shared on Google Drive, and I can add comments directly to it, or somebody else can if they'd like. Uh, we can also choose, I can star it, this is sort of a personal remember this sort of thing, and if I go up here to the star menu, I can see all the different things that I have placed a star next to, and remove them or clean them up. Uh, if I want to pin it for everyone up to see at the top of the channel, I can do that by selecting the little gear here, and selecting pin to meta, and when I go to the channel info, I can see all the different pinned items. I can also see who's signed into this channel, and in general I can see who's signed into Slack based on the green dot here. If I want to single somebody else out in a channel, for instance, you can have notifications turned on so that you only get notified when somebody uses your name. So if I were to type Derek, well, I guess I can't talk to myself. Eh, that's probably for the best. Or Slackbot. You know, this is just a, a, an ephemeral you know, bot to help you manage Slack. Or to a person. You know, they'll get a notification when I hit enter. I'm not going to actually do that. It might bother him. Anyway, I can also invite people to um, to this channel. Uh, this is just other people in the organization because you don't have to be signed into every channel. So if I'm no longer wish to receive anything about maintenance classes, I can select the class up here, or I'm sorry, the channel, and tell it to leave. And then I don't get any new notifications until perhaps somebody types my name in here and says, hey, Derek, we need you to come into this conversation. And then I can join again or leave again right after. You know, it, it's basically you only have to participate in what you want to, which is key here. And what makes this particularly nice is they have apps for both Android, iPhone, and I think they now have Windows applications, so you don't have to sign in through the web browser, though I prefer to stay in that way. I don't want to manage a bunch of applications. But I can continue this on my mobile device. Uh, once this goes dormant for two minutes, I believe my phone will start dinging when notifications come through. I've got my notifications only set to come through when I receive a direct at, you know, where they're 
pointing a message at me. Of course, this is still public. Everyone else can see this. They don't have to reply directly to it. They just type in the chat, and I can see that they've responded. So it's a very purposefully public style forum as far, uh, compared to email, which is just gets directed at people. And also, in a sense, it's more personal than a big distribution list because you can't really opt out of particular types of email sent to a distribution list, whereas this you can. We're all part of the same organization. I can hop in and out of any channel I want to, uh, but I still I can participate in all of it. I can still find out what's going on for the co-op ride, for the Bike to Work Day event. I can you know, go here and view the files for the channel. I can see what's pinned and see what's relevant. Okay, it looks like they've got a, a meetup set up for this. So I click that, it opens up directly to it. It's just a nice convenient location that's very dynamic in how I participate. But hopefully that makes sense. Uh, let me know if you guys have any problems or if uh, you'd like more uh, questions answered. Thanks and have a good day.